Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website, codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. This is the Blender website, uh, blender.org. It's a 3D modeling program. You can um, make models, um, animate things, make um, games as well. Um, so we're going to go and download Blender now. So we're going to click download at the top of the page um, and scroll down. Um, you can download it here if you've got Windows or you can download it here if you've got Linux. Um, right. um, after you've downloaded it, if you could install it, once it's installed you can click start, all programs, Blender Foundation, Blender and Blender again. Um, it might take a while to open depending on the speed of your computer. I have version 2.45, um, so depending on the version you have it may be different. Right, okay, this is the Blender 3D workspace up here with the grid, um, which is where you can rotate um, and edit and model um, and do whatever you like really down here. This is the buttons panel. This is where you can add effects, um, change different settings, um, and basically finish your model after you've molded it. Um, okay, firstly, what we're going to talk about is resizing the blender window to suit your needs. Um, if you right click here and click split area, um, you can split the area right in half vertically. So now you have window here, uh, window here. Um, for example, if you were modeling a quite complex ob object, you can rotate it here. We'll get um, around to telling you how to rotate in a minute. We'll rotate it here, um, so no matter, you can edit it in either one of these panels and it will change in the other panel, so you don't have to keep rotating it around to view different sides of the, the object you're doing. Um, you can also right click on the middle join areas um, and choose which area to keep. Um, the lighter of the two areas will be kept so we want to keep the one with the, the cube face on so we've clicked it. Okay, um, There are different views you can automatically have. Um, one is top view which is what we're in at the moment uh, up here so it's top view. The other view is front view which is like that. Um, the other view is side view, which is like that. They don't actually look too too different at the moment because it's a cube. No matter which face you look at it, um, it will look the same. Um, so those are the views, really. Um, if you have a number pad on your keyboard, uh, you can press the 1 key, like it says here, for front view, uh, three, 3 key for side view, and 7 key for um, top view. Um, or if you want to view it through the camera, you can press zero. Uh, don't worry if you don't have a numpad because you can go and select it here. Um, or you can drag down the top. So we just drag it down like that. Um, and click System and Open GL. And then select Emulate Numpad. Once you've got Emulate Numpad on, that means that um, the numbers across the top of your keyboard will work in the same manner as a num numpad. Um, so that sorts that problem out. OK, um, we're going to try to navigate manually now with our mouse um, in the 3D space. So if you have a mouse with a middle mouse button, you can click and hold the middle mouse button and drag. Um, and you can view the cube from whatever angle you like, just like that. Don't worry if you don't, um, because you can, again, drag down the top, click view controls, and emulate the three button mouse there. I've got that on as well. Um, once you click that, you can resize it <coughs> smaller as well. Um, okay, so now you've got emulate three button mouse on. You can hold the Alt key and click and drag with the left mouse button, which does exactly the same as the middle mouse button, um, just like that. Okay, um, you can use Shift, Alt, and left mouse button to drag the cube from side to side, just like that, um, to make it in the middle of the cube. Or you can use the middle mouse button and Shift which has exactly the same effect. Um, zooming in and zooming out, you use the plus key to zoom in 
and minus key. If you've got um, the numpad uh, emulation enabled, you can use the ones next to the number. If not, and you have a numpad, you can use the ones there. Um, they do the same as well. I think that will about cover it for this tutorial. Um, I will be making another one, so don't forget to check back soon. Um, and I hope I've taught you something. Thank you. Goodbye.